Welcome back to Star News right now, folks. I'm Bruce Hedrick coming to you live from our studios of WMDV 44.2 located in Danville. And of course, you're watching us on WGSR 47.1. And I thank you for watching today. Well, I told you I had a special guest coming up in the next segment, and he's on here. Well, he's on the phone right now, but that's good enough for us right now. We're talking with Phil Heisel. He's the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Services Office in Blacksburg. Phil, how are you doing tonight? Doing fantastic, Bruce. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. It's my pleasure. Phil, that's such a large title, Warning Coordination Meteorologist. Can you tell our viewers exactly what that entails? Sure, it's a long name, really short responsibility, but what I am responsible for at the National Weather Service in Blacksburg is I oversee our severe weather operations uh, at our office, and I also am the individual that goes out into the community and meets with the media like you and emergency managers to make sure the products and services that we are providing are meeting your needs. Gotcha. So in other words, so when I severe, in fact, we're taking a look at some of the photos right now that's coming up of the open house we're going to get to, but you're the man that makes sure that when the severe thunderstorms come out, that the, the, the warnings get out to the media so that and via the systems that you've got to make sure that people stay protected. That's absolutely correct. The mission of the National Weather Service is to protect uh, property and save lives and the main way we do that is through the issuance of those severe thunderstorm flash flood and tornado warnings and my job is to make sure that those warnings are getting out to as broad an audience as, as possible and to take feedback to see if there's any way we can improve those warnings to get people to take action. Gotcha. Phil, a lot of people still get confused about watches and warnings. I guess the best way to say it, a warning is something that is happening now and you need to be ready for it because it's happening right in your area. Am I correct on that, sir? I think that is a great explanation, Bruce. A uh, warning means action needs to be taken. Whether it's a severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning, you need to do something to make sure you're in a place of safety. Get to your designated shelter and make sure you know what that shelter is and where that shelter is before the severe weather arrives. A watch just means conditions are favorable for severe weather. You shouldn't change any of your plans, but you should monitor local television or NOAA weather radio a little more often than you normally would. Gotcha, Phil. Now, also, you've got an event coming up on Saturday, October 2nd. We're seeing photos from last year's open house now. Tell us about what's going to be happening at the Blacksburg Open House. Oh, well, we're very excited about this, Bruce. On Saturday, October 2nd, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, we are hosting an open house, free of charge, open to the public, at our office. I know it's a little bit of a drive from Reedsville and Danville, but we would love to have you come out and see our operations. Our office is located right across the street from the Virginia Tech Airport, down the street from Lane Stadium. We schedule this when the uh, football team will be on the road, so <laughs> traffic won't be an issue. And when you come, you have the opportunity to see exhibits outdoors, including a storm-chasing vehicle. You, know, you can participate in a disaster simulator that simulates what it's like to go through a tornado. And then you can come into our office and see how we put forecasts and warnings together and ask a meteorologist any questions you ever had about weather. That sounds like it's so interesting. And I'll tell you, Phil also puts on the Skywarn classes that come all around the Star News region and, in fact, in the Blacksburg coverage area. And, of course, I've been to the Skywarn classes. Phil really explains everything. In fact, you just saw a photo of Phil doing one of the Skywarn classes as well, too. The gentleman in the blue shirt right there, folks. We can look so forward to learning more about weather. People just can, un I I'll tell you, some people can really become weather junkies on this. In fact, you're looking at some photos again from the open house there. I seem like I'm gushing about it, but I learned so much from what Phil's taught. And of course, Phil, anything else you'd like to say? I hear you're coming down to Rockingham County next Friday that Rockingham County is getting a recognition from the National Weather Service. Uh, that's correct. That's something else we're very excited about. Rockingham County became only the ninth community uh, in our forecast area, and that forecast area encompasses 52 independent cities and counties to be certified as a storm-ready community. So it's a really big deal, and what that means is that the folks there, emergency management in Rockingham County, uh, met all the guidelines the Weather Service requires to make sure that they receive our severe weather information and make sure that information is sent out through multiple means to the community. They've hosted seminars uh, to help educate the community about how to stay safe uh, during a significant weather event, and they also have a very detailed severe weather plan so uh, they know what to do when severe weather threatens, how to activate their, their warning system. So a lot of work went into that, and I deeply appreciate all the work that uh, Rockingham County Emergency Management did to uh, meet that certification. And we are having a recognition ceremony at the Governmental Center there in Reedsville on Friday the 17th at 11 a.m. Uh, feel free to come out and join us in, in, in this celebration. 
We'll definitely be there, Phil. We really appreciate everything you're doing. And folks, if you've got any questions on the open house, it's on the National Weather Service's website, and that's www.nws.noaa.gov. Am I right on that, Phil? I want to make sure I got that right. Yeah, that's right. And there's even a simpler way to get there. If you just go to weather.gov, okay. uh, that'll take you to the same page. See, folks, I'll tell you, this man's got all of the answers when it comes to weather. He's never been stumped by any weather question that we've given him. We look forward to it. Phil, thank you so much for appearing on tonight's show on this one. We look forward to working with the National Weather Service on more ideas on Star News, of course, and WMDV and Danville as well, too. We really appreciate you on this coming in for this interview. Thank you so much, Bram, I and we appreciate everything WGSR and Star News does for us. Thank you very much. My pleasure, folks. When we come back, we'll have more news. We'll be taking you down to North Carolina, tell you what's going on on the Greensboro front. We've got two disturbing stories coming up on that. We'll be talking about that as well, too. More coming up as Star News Right Now continues on WGSR 47.1. We'll be right back after this.